Uh, Ken Livingston, um, you thought you were going to be expelled. You've had a lucky mm. escape. Well, I think that the Labour Party's barrister and lawyer were most probably saying to them, look, if you expel Ken Livingston, he goes for judicial review, mm -hmm. you haven't got a cat in hell's chance of winning because you can have all sorts of arguments you like. But I did not say that Hitler was a Zionist. You had Labour MPs like John Mann claiming I'd said Hitler was Zionist. You had West Streeting saying I had a problem with anti-Semitism. And if you went on the Jewish Chronicle website that day, it said, didn't just say I'd said Hitler was a Zionist. It said I'd said that Jews were like Nazis. This is outrageous. I know fake news has become the big thing. West Streeting, um, what does it feel like to be in the same party as Ken Livingston tonight? Well, we've said that the Labour Party will take a zero-tolerance approach to anti-Semitism, and today was an opportunity to demonstrate we live up to that promise. And we've blown it because the Labour Party's process has conceded that Ken has brought the Labour Party into disrepute. Let's bear in mind that the Labour MP he was defending, the remarks he was defending, were accepted by Naz Shah as anti-Semitic. In fact, she is a model of how to respond when you make remarks that you don't where you don't understand the impact of your words, you make remarks, you apologise for them, you learn from it. She's undertaken to become a leading campaigner in the fight against anti-Semitism. But Ken, on the other hand, uninvited, decided to wade into the debate to defend the remarks which she accepted were anti-Semitic and has brought the Labour Party into in dispute. And not only doing that, has since displayed a bizarre fascination with a tiny part of World War II history. There is, there is a website that counts the number of days since right. Ken last mentioned Hitler. And this matters because it comes up on the doorstep in constituencies like mine. You and it looks like the Labour Party doesn't take uh, people like well, Ken who well, make well, gratuitous well, well, remarks. Well, Ken, let, let, let's this. Ken Livingston, you are no um, a stranger to controversy. And often mm. in the past, it's been like water off a duck's back. Mm. But do you accept now that you, know, you are tainted and you will mm. not come back in any meaningful way to the Labour Party in any kind of form of office? Well, look, when I lost to Boris Johnson in 2012, I made clear my concession speech that broadly that was the end of my political career. I campaigned for the Labour Party, but, you know, my wife's become a teacher, I'm the house husband. So this I'm is not, the I'm end not, of your political I'm career? Not, I didn't seek her parliamentary seat at the last election. I didn't ask Ed Miliband or Jeremy Corbyn to put me in the House of Lords. But you have been very supportive of Jeremy yes. Corbyn. And if you believe what West Streeting is saying, you've been very damaging on the doorstep, so essentially you are damaging no, Jeremy Corbyn. I'm not damaging. When I uh, was suspended, I couldn't walk down the street for hundreds of people stopping to say, we know what you said is true. Virtually the first person said, I'm a, Jew a woman, I'm Jewish, don't these MPs read their history? And the problem is this, if you look at the... Um, Chairman of the Board of Deputies is British Jews, giving evidence to the House of Commons. He says, for Ken Livingston to say Hitler was a Zionist was deeply offensive. And that's part of the problem. There were these series of lies and smears that I'd said Hitler was a Zionist. Well, if I said Hitler was a Zionist, I wouldn't have just apologised. I'd ask my doctor if it wasn't the first sign of dementia. Here's a man who loathed and feared Jews all his life. But he did a deal with the Zionists, and I didn't even criticise the deal, because 66,000 German Jews were moved to Palestine. If they hadn't, they'd have died in the gas chambers with six million others. Well, this now, Wes Streeting, would appear to be the end of the matter or not? Well, we're meant to be launching the Labour's campaign for the local elections today. And instead of talking about the big issues in local elections, we're talking about mm. Ken's bizarre fascination with the 1930s. And it is damaging the Labour Party and its reputation. And Ken has formed going right back to his second term as Mayor of London, where he has made, whether it was the offensive remarks made to a Jewish reporter at the Evening Standard, or suggesting that Jews weren't voting Labour anymore because they'd become wealthy, Ken true. has form when it comes to making ill-considered and incendiary remarks that offend the Jewish community. It, and look, ten years after you, finishing as Mayor you, of London, his name comes up on the doorstep in my yeah, constituency yeah, because you, he brings the Labour Party into disrepute. If you think undermines our claim to be, like you said in that uh, post on your website, why did you ask me to come and campaign for you never... in the general election? We were walking around your constituency together. You did not come anywhere near my constituency during the general election. Absolutely. I... And you would never it be welcome in my constituency. It was one of the first things you did. You had when, me I, when I stood as a you. council candidate back mm. in 2010, Ken, you came to campaign for me then. But you are not welcome in my constituency. You would well, not why, be welcomed by me? Jewish voters in my why constituency. And I'm not going to get drawn into this vendetta you... you have against me. The point I'm making is that your 
poor judgment, mm. your crass mm. remarks and your lack of apology no. brings the Labour Party can, into can, disrepute. Can, can it's can losing can us votes hand you, over fist. You, you it's morally wrong. It's, it's fact fact morally wrong. You should apologise. You continue like to go ahead. You've not apologised. You're totally unrepentant. 39 Labour MPs like you on that day were tweeting that I was anti-Semitic, I should be suspended, I had said it was a Zionist. You created a storm. And then can the you to take no, responsibility for your Ken own Livingston, language. Ken Livingston, can I just mm. ask, do you think, do you accept that you had poor judgment over the way you've dealt with this? No. And poor judgment in the sense that you may talk about the fact that Jewish people come and, and support mm. you, but you have offended a lot of people. Do you accept that and do you apologise? If anyone's upset by what I said, of course I'm sorry, but... I'm not going to apologise for something I didn't say. But I did not say Hitler was a Zionist. No, but you, you said he supported Zionism in the 1930s. Do you apologise? for saying that. No, no, I mean, I've got a, a, a Jewish newspaper here with an article confirming what I said is true. If you'd like me to read it out, no, no, I will. You have offended certain uh, members of the Jewish community. Do you apologise to them for the offence that you have caused? If anyone's upset, I'm sorry, but get them to check what I actually said, because I can't tell you the number of Jewish people who came up to me and said, we know what you said was true. Thank People you. aren't stupid. They heard what you said. They find it offensive and you are damaging no, the Labour Party. Thank you both, thank you you both very much indeed.